The Imam says, I'll tolerate you. If you don't have any good quality except one, I'll tolerate you. Except if you lack two qualities. If you lack these two qualities, no, sorry, I'm not going to tolerate you. What are those two qualities? Religion and intellect. What does religion mean? Many of us, especially people who think they're religious, what is our understanding of religion? Being religious means to many of us, you pray, you fast, you do these rituals, and maybe you have a certain attire. Is that what religion is? No, that's not what religion is. That's part of religion. Religion means to be committed to what you actually believe in. You are true to your values. You are honest. You are committed. That's what deen means. In Arabic, deen means when you are committed to a path. If someone prays and fasts, but this person is cheating other people, this person is not committed. So Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib tells us why. He says the one who has no religion, you can't trust this person. You don't feel safe with this person. This person can betray you and backstab you at any time. That's the meaning of religion. Religion, according to Imam Ali, this quality which you must have for the Imam to tolerate you and accept you, you can be trusted. To be trusted, to be committed to your values and what you believe in. Whatever you believe in, by the way, whatever you believe in. Let's say you have a Christian who is committed to their values and beliefs. If this person is really committed, you can trust this person. Because in the end, this person recognized they have a creator. They could be mindful of God. They have piety. That's religion. That's what's most important in religion. To, to be true to what you believe in. The Imam says if this, person, if this person lacks commitment, if this person lacks religion, you can't trust this person. You can't feel safe with this person. And the second one is intellect. This person can see right from wrong. Not foolish. Because the foolish person who cannot see right from wrong, even if that person wants to help you, that person will harm you. That's why the hadith says, don't ever befriend a fool. Al-Ahmaq. Why? Because the fool wants to help you, he ends up harming you. So the imam says, these two qualities are a must. Intellect and religion, to have that commitment. But any other trait, honestly, I am willing to overlook. Because the Imam is teaches us, is teaching us to look at the positive side of people's personality. Now, the holy month of Ramadan is a great opportunity, my dear brothers and sisters, to work on our personality and is specifically on our habits. Because when you have a change in your schedule, that helps you change your habits. In these 30 days, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us an opportunity. Look, your schedule has changed. What time you eat, how much you sleep, even the timing of your sleep, everything is changing. Physically, everything is changing around you, right? Whenever you have these changes in your schedule, this help you, helps you change your habits. It helps you change your attitude. Take advantage of this month. There is no month which is easier for you to change your habits than the month of Ramadan. Take advantage of this opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you. With these 30 days, and then if you just add 10 more, by the way, 40. Because we have many hadiths that speak about the significance of 40 days. If you develop a habit and you stick to it for 40 days, it becomes part of your daily life. And if you can work on yourself, you can stop yourself from a bad habit for 40 days, you've succeeded. That's why we have a hadith or a famous Arabic saying that says, Man ashara qawman arba'ina yawman kana minhum. If you go and hang around a group of people, live with them for 40 days, you'll become like them. Their qualities will have an impact on you. You'll start acting like them. 
You even start thinking like them, right? 40 days. That's why another hadith says, if you can manage to become sincere for Allah for 40 days, man akhlasa lillah arba'ina sabahan. If 40 days you can manage to be truly sincere to God, dedicate everything to God, what happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow the springs of wisdom to flow from your heart down to your tongue. Allah will give you that wisdom. 40 days. So 30 days in the month of Ramadan, and then you have 10 extra days. If you can work on your habits, in these 40 days, rest assured that you will succeed. You can change those habits. This is an opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us in the month of Ramadan. So my dear brothers and sisters, tonight, take out a piece of paper and list some negative habits that you would like to rid yourself from. And then also make a list of positive habits to develop and work on them for 40 days. 30 days in the month of Ramadan should be easy because you're fasting, you already have a different schedule. That helps you control your habits. And then all you have to do is 10 more days after eight, if you can manage for 40 days to work on a good habit, that habit will become part of your life. And if you can manage to get rid of, to get rid of a bad habit in 40 days, then after 40 days you will find that it's much easier for you to control those negative habits. <laughs>